I think 2016 here at CES is the year that VR finally comes of age and it becomes part of the landscape. I think the most exciting thing about virtual reality at the show is its ubiquity. It's, it's everywhere. You see cardboard, you see head-mounted displays, you see people talking about it, people engaging with it. Humans and digital are really two different things. Analog is continuous, we have this, we're having this conversation in real time. Digital zeros and ones, those things don't really mix. So I think of them as oil and vinegar. Well, if you bring oil and vinegar together in the right combination, you can make a really good salad dressing. But if you let it sit, it'll separate. And that's sort of how I view humans and the digital experience and digital content. If you take oil and vinegar and you add egg yolk, now you've got mayonnaise and it's stable and it's tasty. So one of the things that we're trying to figure out is what's that emulsifying agent? So I view all of this digital content around us and humans as making an emulsion and I think that story is one of the ways that we bind these things together. I think right now the biggest challenge for VR is the content. Uh, my analogy is that imagine it's the year 1900 and someone has given you a film camera and they tell you to make a movie. Well, you don't know what a movie is. So what you'll end up doing is taking that camera and maybe filming a stage play and not moving the camera. And then at some point you figure out, wow, I can move the camera around. And then someone figures out, wow, I can edit the film and then start transposing pieces. So this digital space is wide open and it's really in its infancy right now. And it's gonna be fascinating to see where it goes. But I think beyond, look beyond the entertainment, look beyond the gaming, look to healthcare, look to education, look to training. That's how technology is gonna transform people's lives for the better and really enable humans to do great things.